The AMD stock has seen a major breakdown over the last four months, and yet buyers are still optimistic and continue to buy the dip, hoping that the stock's going to rally right back up to its all-time highs and beyond, only to be continuously disappointed with what the price of the stock actually does. We're going to talk about what should we be aware of now that it's trading back below the century mark at $100? What are we supposed to do from there? Are we supposed to get more bearish? Are we supposed to start buying the dip? We're going to talk about all of that in this video more. But first, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you can get all the notifications. Plus, click the join button down below so you can get all my stock market research each and every day. Now, the AMD stock has been a huge fan of so many in the Wall Street bets crowd and so many retail investors. And there's the comfort and security of knowing that if everybody else is buying it, I should be buying it too. They see it getting hyped up and they wouldn't be part of it. But there's never an exit plan. There's never a consideration for how to manage the risk if a trade goes bad for you. And what we're seeing here with the move from 164 all the way down to 97, a 41% decline. It has a lot of traders trapped right now. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking to you directly. I'm going to go straight to the charts and tell you guys what I think. First off, AMD has had this declining trend line that has been an absolute oh! disaster for the stock. Guys, repeatedly selling off on every single test of this declining trend line. One test, two tests, three tests, and four tests. Back in March, when we tested this rally, huge rally off of the $100 level, it went straight into the declining trend line and saw a sharp price rejection. This was your red flag to start tightening the stops and taking profits. But multiple times throughout the month of March and April, I have warned people to be careful with the stock. There's a massive head and shoulders pattern that has formed in the stock going all the way back to August. And this support level has now failed at the $100 level. Now, it wouldn't surprise me in the days ahead if we see a rally back up to this resistance level here and then to see it fail yet again. And at that point, it may actually be a good opportunity to get short on the stock, assuming that you're not holding right through earnings. Because we one of the big rules of swing trading, if you want to contain the risk and manage it appropriately, is you don't hold a stock through earnings. But the other thing that has got me really concerned, not just this head and shoulders pattern, okay? But what also has me concerned is the massive amount of volume that we have seen in this choppy price range going back to January. Essentially, since the beginning of January, we have seen people loading up on shares of AMD between the 135 area and the 100 massive amounts of volume for a very sustained period of time. But now that that price level has broken at 100, that means pretty much everybody that had been buying during that time is underwater on their trades. And so it can create a potential watershed moment where people start panic selling because they put all their faith and hope in the stock, thinking that it had to bounce at the $100 mark, just like it had done so many times. And many of them didn't buy at the $100 mark. They got sucked in at around 125 and 130 and waiting until it was overly obvious to get into the stock only to have that rug pulled out from underneath them. So now we have a situation where there's an enormous amount of dip buyers trapped with it trading at $97 a share. Also, I want to highlight to you this massive trend line going all the way back to October of 2020. And today we're seeing where price has just slightly broken okay. below that rising trend line. But this is a massive trend line and very important one here. Now, when you look at the weekly chart, it becomes much more clear what we're dealing with. This trend line has until the end of the week, which is Thursday because the stock market is closed for Good Friday, to hold on to this massive trend line here. If it does that, it has a shot. But again, even if it can hold it, can it break through this massive resistance level that goes back to October? And if it can break through that, then the next target that you want to be very careful of is this very steep and declining trend line off of the November highs. So if we get the bounce here at $97, there's a good chance that it will start to break down at around 113 to 115, depending on when in time it tests that declining trend line. So let's now go back and say, all right, we break the rising trend line. We start to move lower with that head and shoulders price action. Where do we bounce at from there? There's a couple of support levels that I do want to highlight. One is this big old support level right here at about $95 a share. If it can hold this support level going all the way back to 95, this would be one of the better case scenarios here as it would offer a great opportunity for it to bounce just below the rising trend line. But keep in mind, there's a lot of resistance here. We have it at 100 and we have the broken trend line that will be weighing right above it. If that level breaks, then you want to start targeting the 75. And I know a lot of people think, oh, this is never going to see 75. But those are the same people that said it'll never see 100 again. It's going to 200 from 165. 
Same people constantly moving the goalposts to suit their needs. But the market doesn't care about your needs. It doesn't care about your wants. It's going to do what it wants. And with so many headwinds in this market right now, with the Federal Reserve raising interest rates, with inflation soaring, this should be a very concerning situation, holding on to shares of AMD at these levels with it now breaking some key support levels. And especially if it can't hold that rising support level or the $95 mark, it could easily see a pullback to the $75 level. Especially if the people who are trapped between 100 and 135, where there was a just massive amounts of buying that flowed in over the last few months, start to panic sell because again, lots of shares to unload in this area here. They're all red right now. How much will it take to the downside for them to just completely offload their shares? And if you get that, there's a pretty strong case to make for a move down to $75 in AMD. Now this isn't supposed to be a bearish video and it's not supposed to be a bullish video. Really what I'm trying to do here is give you the scenarios because you can play all of them. You can play the rising trend line, but if you're gonna play the rising trend line here, what you want to make sure that you're doing is that you're using a stop loss that will keep the risk small and the reward great. So if the trade doesn't work out for you, get out. That's all you got to do. Just sell it. So, And the way you do that is by having a plan in place before you get into the trade of knowing where you'll get out before you ever get in. If the trend line doesn't work, then you go back down to this $95 level. If you start to see it bounce a little bit, then what I would be doing is trying to put a little bit of capital work, see if it got, has some legs to push through the resistance uh, from the trend line and through the $100 mark. If it can do that, then maybe I'll start increasing my stop loss and seeing how far, far it'll take me. Maybe it can get up to all the way to this declining trend line. But if I start to see it struggle again, then I want to get out. If 95 breaks and it does go all the way down to 75, you can play the bounce there too. But again, you've got to use risk management along the way. Jumping into a trade thinking that you have to get into it and you have to believe in it till death do you apart is a horrible approach to trading. Expect to be wrong. I'm wrong all the time and I'm okay with that. But you have to go into the trade knowing that you could be wrong. And as a result, if you're wrong, where are you going to get out at? Where are you going to place those stop losses at? You want to identify areas on the chart that says, if it crosses this level, then I know I need to get out of the stock. You don't have to hold on with blind faith and hope that it'll one day come back. Just because you have shares and have a position in a stock does not equate to the stock market having to grant your wish of how high you want it to go to. GameStop doesn't have to go to $1,000 a share. AMC doesn't have to go to $100 a share. Bitcoin doesn't have to go to a million. If the market doesn't want it to, if the market's not going to allow it, you don't have a say in it. Use some risk management. Assume you're going to be wrong so that you set yourself up for the best opportunity to be profitable in the future. If you enjoyed this video, I'd encourage you to like and subscribe and make sure to click the join button down to below to be able to get all my stock market research each and every day. Plus, tell me down in the comments, what's your approach with AMD? Are you still in it? Are you holding on to it? Why are you holding on to it? Let me know. I'd love to hear it. I'll, I'll talk with you guys in the comment section. Take care and God bless.